the worship team give us the worship song continue to pray when you will be giving thanks to the Lord the Lord who has given you this time you are now in the presence of the Lord and your things will be fine only in the name of Jesus Christ the worship song I have learned to trust in Jesus. I have learned to trust in God. Pro it all. Pro it all. I have learned to depend upon His way. Pro it all. Yes, Lord. Through it all. Yes, Jesus. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned, I've learned to trust in God.
Seated in the presence of Thank the Lord. You, Master. Praise the Lord. Jesus. You are in the grace. The grace is sufficient for you. Praise the Lord. Jesus. His grace is sufficient for you. Praise the Lord. Jesus. His grace is sufficient for you. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. We see Jesus Christ every day. We see his power. And we are seeing his authority. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So, as we are now in the prayer service, I thank God because, yes, you have started to pray from the beginning of the service with pastors, all servants of God who are here. I say to you, really, you are so blessed because you are in the presence of God praying with us, praying with the saints. It shows humbleness. So, really, when you are here, 
I'm acknowledging your presence when I know that really we are the soldiers together. I know that victory victory is yours. Servants of God feel welcome in the presence of the Lord. You are here to receive the grace. The grace from Jesus Christ. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are in the service of prayer where we are going to continue with prayers. Yeah. And again we will listen to the word of God which will be combined with the teachings. Spiritual, teachings, spiritual world teachings. And again, you must know what is happening in the spiritual world. As Christianity is in the spiritual world. So when we are living here on earth, born again, we live in the flesh, but living in the spiritual world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Jesus. So in today's teaching, you will be knowing and understanding how this evil kingdom, the kingdom of the devil, is destroying many. Why many people are being destroyed by this evil kingdom? And again, from seven principalities which were controlling the whole world, I mean in our time, in our generation, seven of them who were stolen, deceived by the darkness. They were deceived by Lucifer. Who is Lucifer? Lucifer is the devil. So they were stolen. And now when they are living here on earth, they were living only to fulfill the vision of Lucifer. But we thank Jesus Christ who is more powerful. Who is greater than the principalities. And greater than Lucifer. And he is greater than the whole kingdom of darkness. That is why he is disarming them. Disarming the principalities, disarming darkness. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to start very well. Who are these principalities? The principalities are written in the Bible. But for you to understand, you need the grace. Because for us to understand the scriptures, we need the Holy Spirit, we need Jesus Christ, and we need the grace for us to understand the word. So principalities are written in the Bible. We can all read the book of Ephesians. Chapter 6, verse 12. 
why these teachings are very important is because many are backsliding because of the situations because of the things which are happening in their lives some they think that now there is no God they are backsliding not knowing that they are in the spiritual warfare but for them to understand the spiritual warfare they need Jesus Christ to explain it to them how many people whom you have blamed whom you have blamed after they did things which were evil against you. Let me ask you this question. Only few people only few people understand behind all evil there is only few people they can blame the darkness and leave people but many they are blaming everybody I will ask the pastors to read the visions which you have Ephesians chapter 6 Verse 12. Mm-hmm. Uh, the principalities against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. New international vision. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. NRV, our fight is not against human beings. It is against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the powers of this dark world. And it is against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly world. You can learn that many visions are giving more explanation. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, Mm -hmm. against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Good news. For we are not fighting against human beings, Uh but against the weakened spiritual forces in the heavenly world, the rulers, the authorities, and cosmic powers of the dark age. We are not fighting against human beings. We are not fighting against Anata Sipedi. Human beings. But look at yourself now. In your home, there are things which are standing up through your children 
through your relatives, they are standing up against you. And you didn't see darkness. You didn't see the spiritual world. You have seen a human being until you were so angry until you go to level 4 because of the situation in your home. So know that the principalities the authorities they are fighting against the kingdom of God. And they are fighting against whoever is called a human being. Because they belong to the kingdom of the darkness. They have been told by Lucifer to torment the people of God, to torment anyone who is called a human being. So, know that these principalities are the final people who are human beings. Saving in the kingdom of darkness in a higher level of the things of the darkness. Read again 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 6. For though we live in the world, mm -hmm. we do not wage war as the world does. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not wage a war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but mighty before God to the throwing down of the strongholds, throwing down imaginations and every high things that is exalted against the knowledge of God and bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being in the readiness to avenge all disobedience when your obedience is made full. Mm. Refenya badi badi tele kadi pole kadi polen leva uichancha ba orana malaya chawa mudimu 